Over these last few days, I've been looking through the new Dinosaur Protection Group site and taking notes on bits of information that I find interesting. And by far, what I believe to be the most intriguing revelation in the site is the well-being of Isla Sorna. Now, the acknowledgement of Site B is sort of teased in a report written by Zaya Rodriguez for the DPG. And while there isn't too much to go on right now, we do have something that is said to be explored in the future. This article details something called the Gene Guard Act, and its usage in the site suggests it to be a very important part of the Jurassic Park universe. From what I gather, the ending of the Lost World seems to be something that Fallen Kingdom will expand upon, and the preservation of Isla Sorna is heavily debated amongst people who are both for and against the dinosaurs. Specifically speaking, the website talks about the public's first exposure to these genetically engineered creatures. The San Diego incident resulted in numerous fatalities and a lot of destruction of public property. It also ended up causing the general public to take a huge interest in getting an opportunity to see real living dinosaurs. After John Hammond spoke during a television interview about working with the Costa Rican Department of Biological Preserves to establish a set of rules for the preservation and isolation of that island. A task force would result from this merging of the public and private sectors, which would ultimately lead to the Gene Guard Act. Unfortunately, John Hammond would pass away shortly after this set of rules would be put into effect. Now, before he died, we know that Mizrani Global was able to acquire InGen, along with Isla Nublar, as well as the Mortes Archipelago. With these new assets, Mizrani Global was able to fully control the ecosystems of these islands and show the potential of new genetic research off to the world. They ended up getting a lot of popularity from this new angle, and the public's curiosity to see dinosaurs eventually led to the company promoting a brand new venture, Jurassic World. This resulted in what is described as an illegal reinterpretation of the laws surrounding the Gene Guard Act, and during Jurassic World's construction, the territories that the dinosaurs had established on Isla Sorna and Nublar were thrown into chaos, as the animals were shipped amongst the islands to be used as theme park attractions, basically saying that Isla Sorna isn't really in the same state that we left it in at the end of the Lost World. I'm sure that there are still animals living on the island away from the general public and within their habitats, but from what I understand, some of the dinosaurs that were in Jurassic World were actually holdovers from the days of Jurassic Park, and not just Rexy. Teams of people eventually made their way into Site B during the building process of the second park, and a successful version of what Ludlow was trying to accomplish in Lost World seems to have already happened. This illegal reinterpretation of the Gene Guard Act is something that I'm really interested in getting more information on in the future. The first trailer for Fallen Kingdom gave us a small look at Ian Malcolm, who was about to testify something to an open court. Now, Dr. Malcolm has always been against the idea of building a Jurassic Park since the beginning, so seeing him make a return to try and debate this sensitive topic really makes a lot of sense to me. As he famously stated to Hammond's nephew in the second film, taking dinosaurs off this island is the worst idea in the long sad history of bad ideas, and he's going to be there when you learn that. Although, this also brings up another really interesting point of conversation that I'd like to talk about. Malcolm would more than likely be very vocal in disagreement with anyone who would choose to go back to Site B and take animals off of the island. And seeing as how his character wanted nothing to do with the dinosaurs in the second film, I think it makes a lot of sense for Malcolm to fight and make a lot of noise concerning the possibility that someday the dinosaurs may come to him and others in the general public who want nothing to do with this rape of the natural world. I think it goes without saying that Ian would have been pretty disappointed in people taking dinosaurs off of Sorna after the island was set up as a biological preserve. Remember, Malcolm doesn't really care about these animals' well-being, he just doesn't want them anywhere near him. He seems to be the voice of reason once again in these films, and even though he's only said to be in a cameo-sized role, I'm sure that he'll use that time to fill us in on how the ignorant handling of these complex systems could result in something that we dare not wish for. If you haven't checked out the site already, I would strongly suggest that you all do so. The website's name is the Dinosaur Protection Group, and I've gotten a lot of enjoyment out of it so far. With all of that being said, I want to ask you all what you think about Mizrani's handling of Isla Sorna, and whether or not you think this discussion will be brought into the new film. It kind of sucks to find out that Site B is no longer the dinosaur safe haven that we left it in. But at the same time, this re-examination of what the rules mean makes a lot of sense and feels like something I can see happening in a real-world situation. Let me know what your thoughts are on all of this in the comments down below. Now, before I go, I want to thank my new game wardens, as well as my new engine executives, Alexandre, Cobalt the Unicorn, Connor, Corey, and Greg. 
I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters. Joshua and Nalani, it means the world to get this kind of support from you guys, and I really appreciate what you all do for me. It's honestly really awesome of all of you. Now, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope that you all enjoyed today's content. If you feel like I deserve it, I would appreciate the like, and I hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys. And as always, take it easy.